And so please give your careful and polite attention to Ms. Tommy English. My great 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 grandma was killed by a cow. Seriously. I bet she never guessed her great 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 granddaughter would be telling this story in her fourth grade class 106 years later. Let me tell you the story. My great 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 grandma's name was Mary Ann Rick. She had seven kids and they had a cow that was really mean. One day it escaped and the family was trying to get it back in the fence and it kicked my great 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 grandma in the stomach. As soon as they got the cow in the fence, she told the kids to go get their dad. She was bleeding internally because she was pregnant and the baby died from the cow kick. Then my great 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 grandmother died too. Her, her daughter, my great great grandma Teresa, was only 13. And she had to raise all of her six brothers and sisters after that. I learned a lot about my ancestors. I have ancestors from many different countries. This is my family tree. <coughs> my ancestors on my dad's side of the family came from Slovenia, Germany, and Austria. My mom's family right here came from Switzerland, Denmark, England. England and Ireland. I even found out that I have an ancestor that came to America as a servant on the Mayflower. I also have an ancestor that was one of the first settlers near San Diego, California. He was hired by the government to make maps of the area. His name is James Davis. These hymn books belong to his son, Abel, and his wife, Emma. Are They used to play and sing hymns together every night. My great-great-grandpa would play the mandolin, and my great-great-grandpa would play the piano. They also wrote their favorite hymns in the back of the book. Their handwriting is hard to read. These hymns are special to me because I like hymns and my ancestors. And I love hymns, too, and my ancestors. This hat belonged to my great-grandpa Jack Osmond. It was his hat from World War II. He survived the war. My brother is named after him, Jack Glasby English. Here's a picture of him on my family tree. I also <coughs> have dog tags from some of my other grandpas who fought in wars. This is a picture of me in seven generations. It goes all the way back to 1830. Each generation passed something on to their dogs. I want to show you something that is being passed on in my family. This quote was made by my great grandma and passed on to her daughter. Then, this quote was made by my grandma and then passed both of these blankets on to her daughter, my mom. And then, my mom made this quilt and passed on all three quilts to me. Someday I want to make a quilt for my daughter and pass on all four to her. I wonder what stories my great-great-great-granddaughter will tell her class in 100 years from now. Hopefully it won't be a story like me being killed by a cow. <laughs> <laughs>